Hey friends, it's story time. Get ready. <gasps> Did I hear it was story time? Yay! Oh boy, it's story time. Yahoo! Yahoo! So sit down for story time, everybody. Yay! Story time with Mr. Michael. Hello, everyone. It is very wonderful to see you. I hope you are all having a beautiful day today. Now, I know I haven't been here in quite some time. I took a little vacation and took a little break from making videos, but I'm going to start making them again every week. So look for them. And if you can, give me a big thumbs up to show that you're watching. And, um, oh, and if you can write me a comment, I would love that. I love hearing anything that you have to say to me. Now, I think that we should start off with a question of the day. Now, our question of the day today is this. What is a hero? Well, now, there are always different types of heroes. There's superheroes. They fly around and they lift gigantic cars and they toss them and stuff like that. But there are other types of heroes. There are, there are firefighters who run into burning buildings to save lives. There are police officers who, who are here to, to help everyone and, and keep them protected and safe. And there are, there are teachers and there are doctors and EMTs and nurses, and they are all heroes. So for me, what a hero is, is anyone who is there to help you, anyone who, who goes out of their way to help you. I think that's, that's what a hero is. Now, I'd like to take a moment to show you a yoga pose. Now, um, I'm gonna move out of this area and go, go somewhere else to do that one for you, okay? So, come on, we're gonna go do a yoga pose. I'm gonna try out a yoga pose. I hope you're ready. We're gonna start in mountain pose. Mountain pose, your feet are together. Your arms are by your side. And you're taking a deep breath. Now, in this pose, I want you to say something. I want you to say, I am here and I am me. And then from here, we're going to take a deep breath and reach our arms way up high. And exhale and fold all the way over. This is called forward fold. And right here, I would like you to say, I accept myself and I love myself. And then roll all the way back up to standing. And those were our yoga poses. Hey, why don't you give it a try? Maybe you can ask your grown up to help. All right, thanks guys. Let's go back to story time. That was super fun. I really enjoyed doing that yoga pose with you. Thank you so much for participating. Um, well, now we're going to move on to some of our favorite nursery rhymes. Okay, here's here's one that we, uh, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. Let's get big and humpty. Okay, and we'll say, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty, whoa, had a great whoa, a fall. Splat. And all the king's horses, and all the king's men, hey, couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, man. Poor Humpty. And that's no yoke. <laughs> I'm cracking up over here. That joke was excellent. <laughs> Here's another one for you. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. Ooh, we can pull out our bowls and our spoons. Eating how her curds, how and whey. Hop, hop. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and scared Miss Muffet away. Ah! <laughs> I love that one. All right, here we go. We are going to sing a little song, okay? It goes like this You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I like that 
one a lot. And I like the sunshine a lot. All right, I have a friend that wanted to come out. Here, uh, here comes my friend. Ah! Oh, hello, and how are you today? Well, yes, I'm doing very well. Oh, that's, that's very nice to hear. Now, what, what did you want to share with us today? A few things. Oh, yes, okay. Well, tell us. Well, firstly, I'd like to tell you a joke. Oh, go ahead. I, I love hearing a joke. Good. Our joke is this. What do you call a dog that does magic? Ooh. I don't know. What, what do you call a dog that does magic? A labracadabra door. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was a really great joke. I, I really liked it. Um, I appreciate you coming and telling us that joke today, too. Yes. Now, also, I have a song. Oh, you do? Good. What, what would you like to sing today? It's a song about a bird. Yes. It goes like this. The kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, how gay your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, counting all the monkeys that he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop. That is not a monkey, that is me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, counting all the gumdrops that he can see. Stop, kookaburra, stop. Save some of those gumdrops me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay, your life must be. Oh, yes. Well, thank you very much. Now, my new puppet does not have a name. No, sadly I do not. I need a name, though. Maybe your friends out there could help me. If you have a good name for my my bird friend here, I would love to know it. Please put it right down in the comment section. That would be really great. And then we could get a name for our, our awesome new friend. All right, I will see you later, my friend. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, yes, you as well. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Wow, that was really awesome seeing that friend of ours. Okay, are we ready to find out what our story is? Our story today is this. It's how the beetle got her beautiful colors. Now, a long, long time ago, the Brazilian beetle didn't look like it did today. No, 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 no. It had a dull brown coat. Now, one day, this little beetle was crawling slowly across a wall when a big gray rat jumped down from the wall and ran around to where the beetle was slowly crawling along and said oh there beetle how slowly you crawl across that wall you'll never get in the anywhere in the world moving like that <laughs> just see how fast i am and the big gray rat jumped back down and ran around and back to where the beetle was crawling slowly across the wall. Oh, that was very fast, Beetle. Thank you for sharing your gifts with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that same place, there was a parrot who flew down. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, hello, rat. <gasps> Hi, parrot. How would you like to race that beetle? Oh, would I ever! I'm so fast and that beetle's so slow! <laughs> well, I live next to a tailor bird. And I will give the winner of the race a brand new, beautiful coat of any color they wish. Oh, the rat was very excited. He said, I want an orange one with big black stripes like a tiger. And the little beetle said, oh, wow. Oh, I would just like a coat the color of the flag of Brazil. <laughs> now, the parrot set the finish line for the race. 
Yes. The royal palm tree will be the, the finish line. Ready? Um, dois, tres, ja! And the big gray rat took off, running faster than he's ever run, ever, in his entire life. He was jumping over logs. He was dipping under mushrooms. He was going and going and going and going. And then he thought, why am I going so fast? That beetle is so slow, she'll never catch up with me. <laughs> but something in the rat's heart said, keep going, finish the race. And so he did, and he ran, wow, until he reached the finish line. Where he saw the beetle waiting for him. Hello, rat. Mm. The rat had never been so confused in his entire life. He looked over at that beetle and said, how did you get here so fast? And the beetle said, well, no one said you had to run the race, so I flew. Oh, I didn't know you could fly. Oh, man. Wow. Congratulations, beetle. Mm, rat, you have lost the race. Beetle, congratulations. Uh, well, yes. Mm, okay, goodbye now. Well, from that day further, all the birds, the beasts, and the bugs all had beautiful coats in Brazil. Well, except for the rat. He still wears his dull gray coat. I wish I could fly. <laughs> the end. I like that story a lot because you don't know how the beetle's going to win. And then, and then she unfolds her wings and she flies and... I think that's kind of like all of us. We all have secret hidden gifts underneath our shells that, uh, that we can show off when we need to. Well, yeah. All right, well, that song reminds me of, uh, that story reminded me of a song. Reminded me of the running song. I don't know if you guys want to sing it with me, but I'll sing it for you right now, okay? All right, here we go, are you guys ready? Well, I run, run, and I runny run, and I run, 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 and I runny run, and I run, run, runny run, and I run, 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 and I runny run, and I run, run, and I run in shoes, and I run, run, run wherever I choose, and I run, run, and I run up hills, and I run, 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 I do it for the thrills, cause I run, run, runny run, and I run, 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 and I runny run, and I run, run, runny run, and I run, 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 and I runny run, and I run. Run and I run in a race and I run, run, run all over the place and I run, run and I run real fast and I run, run, run because I'm having a blast and I run, run, runny run and I run, run, run and I runny run and I run, run, runny run and I run, run, run and I runny run and I run, run because we're having some fun and I run, run, run but now we're done. Oh, wow. This has been a really fun time, guys. But I'm going to have to say goodbye now. So here we go. Goodbye for now. And I'll say adieu, it's been so wonderful spending this time with you. I'll see you again, but until then, please don't forget that I care about you. <laughs>